he, he was serious. He began to search. He began to search for self-realization, the search for meaning, the search for purpose, the search for light. Where did he look? He began closest at home. He looked around his house. His house is a lotus flower, a flower sitting on a lotus stem. So he entered the lotus stem and he went down the lotus stem. He took the elevator to the first floor. Didn't see anything. Couldn't find any answers in the elevator. Took the elevator back up to the penthouse, the Padma penthouse. Now, lotus flower on the top. Couldn't find any answers there. So then what did he do? He searched, he searched, he couldn't find any guru, couldn't find any answers, couldn't find any sadhus. So then he closed his eyes. He said, no success. He closed his eyes and said, anyway, let me just close my eyes. And then, tene brahma ridha yadadi kaviye, tene brahma ridha. From within the heart, the good Lord, waiting to engage in Leela, vibrated a sound. Ta, pa, ta, pa. Austerity, penance. Then he began his life of penance. For a thousand years he performed austerity. No pain, no gain. Tapo divyam puchukiyena sattvam should get yashmad pramasukyam tvanantam we want Brahma Sukh, what to speak of Premanan, the bliss of love, Krishna Premanan, then there must be some tapasya, Shabadev tells. No pain, no gain. Tapa means tapa means fire. Tapa means some burning pain, some affliction, some difficulty. It's painful to control the senses. It's painful to meditate and control the mind. It's painful to sit up straight. <laughs> it hurts so bad. If we don't sit up straight now, we'll never be able to sit up straight later. So this is pain. So he was willing to undergo, he was so serious about removing the darkness. Brahma was so serious about finding the answers to his life. So serious about finding real substance and meaning in his life. And so serious about finding a purpose and a definition to his life that he could live for. That he was willing to undergo austerity. He was willing to pay the price. He was not a lazy fellow, Mandasamanda Matayo. So he paid the price, he performed austerities, tapasya, for a thousand years. Not that he pressed his nose and did a little pranayama for ten minutes. Listen, Jack. Okay, ten minutes later, I finished my meditation. Where's God? Where is he? I meditated for 10 minutes. Told 10 minutes of my day I gave for this meditation. Hey, I ain't. Bhagavan, I ain't. Where is he? Why don't, why don't you come? Listen, I gave you 10 minutes. What more do you want? I did my 10 minutes meditation. Now you manifest yourself. But no. Brahma did 1,000 celestial years. That's, that's millions and millions of earthly years. And then by doing that austerity, he attracted the heart of the Lord. He attracted the heart of the Lord because performing austerities with the desire to attain the Lord will attract the heart of the Lord. 